Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to disable the annoying setting of enabling the virtual keyboard or your gamepads or your Xbox or PS4 controllers on Steam from scratch. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that your Steam launcher is open like I have right here. So as you can see, here's my Steam. And the idea is we would want to get access to the input settings. So to do that, you guys would want to navigate to the top left corner of the window till you find Steam. So you'll see here that there are five options being help, games, your friends list, view, and Steam. I would want to opt for Steam here. I'm going to click on Steam and you're going to click on settings. Now, when you guys click on settings, it's going to take you, it's going to open this new window right here where you get to configure the settings for your Steam. So these pertain to uh, the configuration, preferences, and so on and so forth. Now, because we're looking to disable the virtual keyboard um, option for our controllers, whenever we plug it in, we'd want to click on the controller tab between in-game and voice. So it's this one right here. And you'll see that there are a couple of different external gamepad settings like uh, guide button focuses Steam, uh, Steam input for Xbox controllers, PlayStation controller support, enable Steam for ge um, ge generic controllers, turn off controllers for exiting um, big picture mode, so on and so forth. Now, if you guys want to disable the virtual keyboard setting for your controller whenever, whenever you plug it in, you want to make sure that all of these settings right here are enabled. So this one right here that says enable Steam input for Xbox controllers, as well as enable Steam input for Switch Pro controllers, generic controllers, and so on and so forth. So what this is essentially doing is it's sending signals to your Steam to let you know that uh, the device is not a keyboard, but is a natively supported um, controller by Steam. So this way, um, you wouldn't be using your, your controller on Steam for the games that you're playing as a virtual keyboard. And that's honestly all there is to it. So hopefully this um, this guide helps you guys out. And if it does, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.